Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Lisa and I'm so excited today to be sharing with you my new decks. Um, I got this deck for Christmas and I was so enthralled with it I went and bought myself this deck. These are available from Make Playing Cards. The Pam A is the 1910 version that was the reissue after the 1909 version was recalled. This deck is from the scans of Saskia Jensen, who I just had a conversation with over Facebook last week, and she is just the greatest person. I just love her. And the most knowledgeable about Tarot. You have no idea. She's great. And this, there's another person who has some scans, and I, I apologize, I can't remember his name, so if you can um, help me out with that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But I wanted to share these with you. I wanted to show you them on, on their own and, and in comparison. So first of all, let's look at the boxes, which are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, you can see they, I don't know if you can tell, they, they almost look like they're leather. I'm assuming that when they first came out, you can see it on this one a little bit more, when they first came out, that maybe they were leather boxes. This is Pam's signature. Um, but even to the point of making them look dirty and, and old, and this is a real, this is a real collector's item, you know. I mean, later on I'm going to compare these to the Centennial Edition, and if you're just starting out, that's a great deck to get. But if you're a collector and you want, you're like me, you love everything, Pam, you'll probably want these. Uh, these boxes are just so awesome. They've got the magnetic clasp here. They're just really nice to hold, carry around. They're really sturdy. They've got the pull string so you can pull these puppies out. And you can see that is the roses and lilies. Oops. And here is the Pam A. Which I didn't leave my string now well enough. So here's this. So here's the back. Um, you know, each of these decks have their own their own advantages, and it's really you know what people like. But I I don't have anything. I never didn't have any crackleback decks, so I really wanted this crackleback. Um, but like I say, these are scans these Saskia says this one so far is the closest that she sees to the deck that she has that she let them scan so anyway I want to just show you the differences um, between them I want to actually what I think I'm going to do is go through each one and then kind of show thing I'll, I'll go through it fairly quickly but sometimes it's hard to you, hard to appreciate the them for themselves when you're seeing them compared, but then you do want to see them compared too. So when I go through the comparison, I won't go through every card, but um, but you can see this is you know there's some texture here which is really nice. These colors are beautiful. Uh, the the antiquing goes all the way to to the border which again is you know this was scanned from a hundred year old deck so let's go through this quickly i'll go through the next one quickly and then we'll take a look at some of them comparatively Oh, I love that. I love the background of that hermit and the color. Just beautiful. There's a texture to it. I love the colors. I love the blue colors here. I 
This is just such an amazing duck, as it was supposed to be. And if you want, if you really want a vintage looking deck, you can't get more authentic than this. It doesn't feel like it has that um, artificial tea stained look that some of them look, the yellow, yellowing on them. You can still see the blues, you can still see what everything was supposed to look like. Again, I've always loved the two of swords. Again, you can see that beautiful texture and that gorgeous blue and then the contrast, beautiful contrast. I'm going through these kind of fast because we're going to go through the other one and then compare them. And again, I'll explain why later. I think you'll see why later. Beautiful. Okay, and so now this is the, the 2010 deck. Excuse me, the 1910 deck. Again, Crackleback, which I absolutely love. And we'll go through this one and then we'll compare them. A little darker. Face is a little darker. A little deeper color. And smoother. It's like they smoothed out that texture in the background. Deepened the colors to they smooth some of that texture out. And the cardstock on both of these are the same. You can see they're not too shiny, they're not too glossy, they're nice weight, oh, well, they're easy to shuffle, easy to handle. They're not cheap, especially when you add shipping. 
unfortunately make playing cards is the only game in town, but they do have products we want, and they know it. Okay, so there's individual. Now the reason I said I was going to do them, I was going to sh compare them afterwards, is because sometimes I think, you know, when you look at a deck on its own, you can see the beauty of it. But you might be comparing something like, oh, well, this one might look brighter, or this one might, look, the colors might look brighter, or it might look darker, or cleaner, or something like that. And, um, and you might not find the appreciation in one or the other decks if you're not, uh, if, if you're looking at them both at the same time. But it's nice to know which ones you like as well. So anyway, now I want to, I won't go, I won't talk through every card, but let me see if I can get a little bit closer here. Okay. So, you can see that, you know, this seems to, the line work seems to be a lot crisper. This is a lot thicker, which makes it look a little darker, I think. Yet this color-wise looks a little brighter. You can see the faces are darker on the 10, on the 2000, or uh, Pam A, let's put it that way, Pam A. And this is a warmer look. This is a much cooler look to it. This has a warmer look to it. Hold on one second, I'm still a little not happy with this. See, and it's, this is a good one to, to say, you know, I mean, if you were just looking at the comparison, you might look at this and say, well, this is a lot, is so much brighter. And in some ways it is, yet this one has its own unique feel to it when you're just looking at it on its own. Now, it's really just a personal preference. If you're a collector, semi-collector like I am, but you see this is a little darker, darker red, face is dark, face has a little bit more color to it. And then here you can really tell. Now I love the texture of this. I love the texture in the sky. Yet this has its own beauty. There's a depth to the color of that sky that is really beautiful so they both have their their unique advantages I'm sorry I'm getting a little fancy Here's a good example, you know, I mean, whereas some of them just, the, the this deck looks so much brighter. This one, because the line work is so much deeper and thicker, it gives it a, a darker feel to it. But, like, you, like I say, if you like that smoother, if you like the white look to it rather than that textured look. Okay, this is getting a little 
they they aren't that is the one thing you know when you buy a deck from like the 70s or something the card stock is really um it's just so beautiful it's not slidey and slippery like this uh it's it's really oops where did i go wrong here uh it's not slidey and slippery like this it's it's um in fact, I'll do a comparison with with uh, my Sunburnt Magician, but it you know those those seventy decks and the blue box decks they just have that really matte finish and oh they're so beautiful. Um, these are a little slippery, but they're not high gloss like the those you know like new cards are. They're they're actually really nice and they're they're easy to easy to shuffle and stuff. I won't do that here because I'm going to do some more things. How did I mess this up? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, there's that one. There's this one. Actually, this one looks a little brighter but again this seems more um, this is a warmer look this is a cooler look but it has deeper colors and more contrast I'm just noticing too I don't know if you can tell how different the colors are in the um, mountains now here you've got definitive blue and purple mountains here they're really kind of just more of a bluish gray so you know there there was a reason that they were unhappy and pulled that back what happened and I'm no expert but my, to the best of my understanding is what happened is they released this deck they were unhappy with it and then they said anybody that had this deck if they turned the turned it in they would get a new one for free and then they released this this one so um you know i i am not the person to say exactly what changes they made and, and of course these are scans 100 year old scans so we really don't know exactly but um but you can see some of the differences you know smoothing out the you know smoothing out the colors the skies and stuff like this this looks a lot more white and stuff like that and again my two of you can really see the difference in the skies here really interesting So, and like I said, I wanted to show you each on their own because, you know, if you look at these comparatively, you might automatically think, oh, those look kind of dingy. But when you look at it on its own, it has its special, uh, its own specialness to it. And of course, sometimes it's the backs that make the difference. <laughs> you know? Again, you can see the smoothness in the sky compared to the texture. Here, the difference in the color. This is more of a little baby blue. This is a little bit more robin's egg. Deeper gray.
see how much brighter and deeper the colors are there. And there you have it. So here we have. Let me get my box down here, the roses and lilies. And like I said, I would shuffle these for you, but I want to do a couple more things comparing and contrasting, so I'm not gonna um, put them out of order, but you have the roses and lilies from Make Playing Cards. Um, I think, I don't know, they were 50 plus $14 shipping or something to the effect of that. And I think I paid about 65 for them. And uh, you can't get around shipping with like coin bars. It's just the way that they do it. Um, and and the Pam A. So I'll put some links in the uh, description. And I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And comment and let me know what you think. Which one do you like better? Which one, uh, which, which one speaks to you or what, what of each speak to you? So thanks again. I'll see you soon.